All right, the barbershop website is slowly transforming, and today, we're giving the services page some real personality. You know when you go on a site and you hover over something and it just pops? That's what I wanted. But let me tell you this. Simple hover effect turned into a little coding workout. We're talking borders that light up when you hover over them, text that actually stays where it's supposed to, and me fighting the layout for way longer than I expected. Let's jump right into this. If you've been following this series, you know this is part of my journey to not only get better at coding, but to build a fully functional, clean, and modern barbershop site from scratch. Today's focus is the services page, and this one was tricky in all the small, sneaky ways. So I started with the hover effect goal. When someone moves their mouse over a service card, I wanted the border to highlight, in theory, pretty simple in reality. Well, the layout inside those cards wasn't having it. Some of the text was acting like it was on vacation, drifting away, not centered, making the whole card feel off balance. You know the saying, if you can't fix the inside, the outside won't matter. That was exactly what was happening here. Luckily, I was able to figure it out rather quickly, so the next step I had to do was tackle the layout. I inspected the card container, and yep, there it was, spacing inconsistencies, padding that didn't match, margins doing their own thing. I adjusted the CSS to make sure the title, description, and price lined up perfectly. There was a bunch of things that I was trying to do to eventually fix this. I was trying margin, text line, anything to try and get this price to match up with the main title, which let's say for instance, it will be adult cut or it will be hairstyles. I'm trying to get the price to be right next to it. So eventually things can end up looking in line. And that just was not coming out to the way that I needed it. So what I realized was because I already initially started this website off with positioning, which is something you should never do, please do not do it. You should only be using it for little nudges. I accidentally used it for a lot of it. So the website was kind of becoming a little bit more difficult. So after a bunch of trial and error, as you can see here, I finally decided to just say F it. I'm going to go for the position relative because I realized, like I said, I started it that way. I need to continue it that way until my next website where I can actually fix that and really just stick with Flexbox without having to do too much with position. You may also be wondering from the last episode, at first I had the border, the color blue, but that was just so I could see where the border exactly was. So eventually I got rid of the color and I ended up doing an outset and then I ended up adding the color of the background but making it a little bit darker just so the border part can stand out a little bit more so when you hover over it and you see exactly what it looks like man it looks like a beauty i'm very happy with the way that ended up coming out of course there may still be some final touches in the next episode or the one after that but definitely it's definitely starting to come together but finally i stopped being a wuss and i just decided to end up using position relative like i stated earlier and here is where the magic finally began of course though i had to do a bunch of trial and error to figure out the numbers as you can see my price is just shot all the way down i need to get this price literally lined up next to the top area which of course i also need to fix a couple things there as well because i need the price and the title of that area to be bigger than the bottom part which the bottom part which is you know of course adult cut and then the price actually being written out like $20 right next to it is bigger for some reason. So I got to end up switching those both around. I got to think about the coloring, which ones are going to be blue. Is it going to be the title? Is it going to be, you know, the bottom part? Am I going to end up making the prices green, right? So the coloring part is definitely going to be a hassle. So maybe not next episode, but you know, the next couple ones coming out is definitely going to be the goal here because I didn't think this service page was actually going to be what was going to take the longest. And I think I just want it to look right. Then I ended up noticing if you look at the first services border, for some reason, it is shot down a little bit more while everything else is more at the top, right? So I ended up realizing that was because I ended up having image in the wrong area for all of the other three border sections. So glory to God that I was able to see that mistake because that could have definitely made me sit there and rewrite a whole bunch of my code. And I didn't even really have to end up doing that. I just had to end up getting it together and realizing I just wrote something in the wrong spot. So then that shot that down because eventually we still have to end up adding in the images that show some of the these services now the services page is almost complete we are literally super 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 close that means getting all the actual services the barber offers into the layout styling them so they do not only work but look aesthetically pleasing and making sure the whole thing feels balanced and inviting think of today as the foundation and next time we decorate the house so if you're into watching a real website come to life piece by piece and learning from every coding win and fail along the way stick around Next episode could be the one where the services page finally comes together. And trust me, you won't want to miss seeing it go from functional to fantastic.